Donald Trump's tweets, which Clinton predicted as she was speaking. But Donald Trump isn't stopping there. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas. Donald Trump knew Hillary Clinton was coming after him, so he fired first. She's one of the worst secretaries of state in the history of our country. Now she wants to be our president. Look, I I'll be honest. She has no natural talent to be president. Trump claiming Clinton has already let America down, pointing to the attack in Benghazi as proof. Remember the famous phone call? At 3 o'clock in the morning, she'll answer the call. Guess what? She was sleeping. She was sleeping like a baby. Don't wake me up. But Trump is still playing defense amid growing controversy over Trump University, the focus of three separate lawsuits. Today, Trump tweeting that once he wins in court, I have instructed my execs to open Trump U. So much interest in it, I will be president. But tonight, new questions about just how much Trump was involved in the unaccredited real estate courts. If this is what he promised students. Them. If you don't learn from me, if you don't learn from the people that we're going to be putting forward, and these are all people that are hand-picked by me, then uh, you're just not going to make it in terms of the world of success. But in this deposition, Trump saying under oath, he didn't handpick those teachers after all. Question, you didn't personally select these instructors, correct? Trump's response, no. Trump later saying, I don't know the people, I wasn't running it. I don't know the people. The billionaire candidate defends Trump University, but has refused to answer our questions about it. Today, his son Eric dismissed complaints from former students. There's probably That's people that go to Harvard it. and say, listen, I, I went to Harvard, I got a great education, I can't find a job, or, you know, I, I didn't become the success that I could have been. And Tom Yamas back with us live tonight. Tom, Republican House Speaker Paul Ryan also with his own message today, just as Hillary Clinton was speaking. David, Speaker Ryan says after several weeks of conversations, he believes Donald Trump will support the principles and the policies of House Republicans. He's endorsing him and he will vote for him in November, David.